this uh, short video I am going to talk about trussing. Trussing is essentially the art of tying a cut of meat um, and the reason why we do this is for it to be able to hold its shape. And butchers often do it with roasts but uh, as charcutiers we do that uh, so that when we hang the meat it actually holds the shape during the curing process. In order to create the bind, you're going to need quite a long length of butcher's string. Rather uh, not cut it too short because invariably uh, you're going to run out of um, you're going to run out of string. So to start off, we've got to create the initial knot, and this is usually done with a slip knot. Um, but I've always battled with that, so I came up with my own solution. And what I do is I create a loop knot, as you can see in the video. All right, and now we pass it under the uh, piece of meat and we want to bring our loop knot over uh, to the center of our piece of meat so that we can create a horizontal line running parallel down our meat cut. Uh, we just need to make sure that we pull it tight, but again, not too tight to cut into the meat. Now we pull the string parallel down the length of the meat. About two centimeters from our first knot, we put our finger and we loop the string around that and around the meat again, and over and up through the loop we've created by our finger. And again, we pull it tight, uh, but not too tight to cut into the meat, just to hold the shape. And we'll repeat this process until we get to the end of the meat. Um, what you can do is you can also get netting to do this, which is a bit easier and quicker. I just personally like the traditional methods and the way the meat looks once it's cured. Um, if you are going to use this method, I would suggest you practice using a glass bottle, something like a, a wine bottle or something, um, where you can actually practice and not damage the meat and get your, your technique right. That's what I did. I just practiced it a few times until I got to the place where I wanted. Okay, now once you've got to the end, you just try and straighten everything. And again, make sure that your horizontal uh, line is straight, as straight as possible, and you're now going to flip the meat to do it on the other side. So you flip the meat over, and now the technique is slightly different. So now what you do is you take the, the loose string and you push it over one of the, the, the loops and you pull it back through so that it uh, creates a tight leverage for it to pull through. And then you just repeat that going across so that again it creates that straight or horizontal line going across your meat. So you've now got rings and then the horizontal line. You pull that tight and again just make sure everything is straight and doesn't tie over. Now you flip over the meat again and you just need to tie that now onto the other side with a simple knot. Um, my stubby fingers don't help but uh, there we go. So that's done. Basically, once you've tightened that, you've got a loop on which to hang it as well. So again, we just make sure that everything is straight and nicely set, and that's it. You're ready to hang the meat. Please remember to click on the subscribe button to keep updated of any new postings. My name is Gilbert Ferreira. I'm originally from South Africa, but I've been living in Poland now for the last two years. Uh, my curing journey started uh, over 15 years ago, and in that time I've been curing as a hobbyist, but also commercially for about six years of that time. I focus mainly on European style meats, um, and my absolute favorite is Kulatelo. I personally still feel that I have a lot to learn, um, but I have had some experience and one of the things I really enjoy doing is sharing that with people and also trying to help people who are getting into this art form. So hopefully um, I'll be able to help you on your journey. When I started my curing journey over 15 years ago, there was limited information available on the internet. So most of what I learned was off the pages of books. 
I struggled with a lot of the techniques from reading because much of this art form is about feel. I mean, it was really difficult for me to visualize cutting out the H-bone off the pages of a book. As a result of this, I grew a passion for teaching people what I'd learnt through a course that I'd developed. One of the things that I've always wanted to do was write a book, and during the COVID lockdowns in 2020, I eventually had the time to commit to writing. So I started the journey of creating Preserve Pigs, The Art of the Cure Smith, salting and smoking techniques and recipes for beginners and experts. My problem was, however, how to impart my knowledge I had gained on a two-dimensional canvas that is a book, and I found it impossible to put everything in writing. As a result, this became more of a project. Preserve Pigs has now been one year in the making and has been developed in 12 parts. It has been created as a mixed media publication which includes the book as well as a website with additional information that I could not fit into the book and instructional videos like how to remove an H-bone as well as an online course. Part 1, the introduction, is ready for release in May 2021 and the additional 11 parts will follow shortly thereafter. Please visit preservepigs.com for more information on this project.